So in this question, we want to do mesh analysis um, to formulate the set of equations um, to basically find the three uh, mesh currents. So, so we have three meshes, as you see, and then always when we are doing the mesh analysis, we identify the meshes and for each mesh, we assign a current here, IA, IB, IC. And then I start writing KVL on each mesh. So let, let me start. So let's start by, so KVL at basically mesh A, which is this mesh. So I start from here. So when I'm going up, because IA is in the same direction, so I will put a plus. So R times I, so H times IA plus. Here, I'm here. Twice, again, IA is going this way. Two IA. Then I'm going down. I hit the negative, so minus three I Y equal to zero. Okay. That's the KVL on the first mesh. Now, if I look at the, if I want to write the KVL on the second mesh, okay, so as you see here, so everything is good, but then there's a current source. Um, so one of the special cases uh, on the mesh analysis was when you have a current source on the mesh. In this case, it's shared between two meshes, right? This, this current source is being shared by mesh B and C. In that case, we use the idea of super mesh. So instead of going down, so I'll just extend the mesh to, 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 cut, to basically consider the whole thing, okay? So that's the idea of super mesh. So this is super mesh. And the reason that I use super mesh because I don't, I wanna avoid the writing a KVL on this because I know something about its currents, but I don't know about its voltage. So therefore we just avoid it by going around it. Okay, but there's one good thing here is that uh, you can write the equation here because as we see, there's IB, there's IC, and then somehow IB and IC are related to this current. Okay, so I'm gonna write that as an equation, but let me first write the super mesh equation. So super mesh. Um, start from here. Four. I Y plus ten. I'm hitting a bonus so ten. Plus. Oh, by the way, instead of I Y, uh, I could also write I B because, as you see, I Y and I B are the same. But I, I'm gonna. That's why I'm gonna write next step. So four times I Y or I B. Um, actually, let's write it here so that we get familiar. Um, so this is the mesh current, so it's IB, four times IB, plus 10, plus twice. Now, what's the current for this? It's just IC, right? I have also five IC, plus I'm going down, 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 down here. So I started from here, I go around the loop, and then plus three I Y equals zero. So these are the equation for the meshes, but let's look at the dependent sources. One is the this current source. So as you can see, we have this current source point for the X. But I, as you notice, there is an IB here, and there is an IC here. Okay, therefore, this current is IB minus IC, right? So IB, see I go same direction, so it's plus IB minus IC equal to 0.4 V of X. Good, so that's one equation. Also, uh, okay, and, and remember, everything will not be want to be versus I, IA, IB, and IC, okay? And then uh, let's look at what is V of X. V of X is 
the voltage here is two times the current, which is two IA. So V of X is two IA. Yeah, so therefore I can replace this here. Therefore I get I of B minus I of C is equal to 0.4 times two IA, which is 0.8 IA. Okay, very good. So this is one equation with respect to I, 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 B, and I, C. And uh, these are two other equations, but they have I, Y. But what is I, Y? I, Y, as I mentioned before, is I, B, exactly I, B. So this is the current on this, it's just I, B. So, so we have that I, Y equal to I, B. Therefore, I just replace here. IB and IB. And therefore, I so I have now three equations. Yeah. So let me rewrite these three equations. And I can arrange them at the same time. So the first equation, eight and two IA. 2IA and then minus 3IB equal to zero. Second equation, do I have any IA? No, I don't have any IA, but I have IB here, 4IB and then 3IB. So it's like 7IB. So I write it this way. So I just put IA empty because that's a zero. Um, it's just a format wise, but that's that's fine if you don't do that, that's okay. So seven I B and then I have seven I C equal to negative 10. And now that I did that for you to see this better. So let's put our second. Okay. And so the first equation, second equation, and the third equation is. 0.8 IA, 0.8 IA, put the other from the other side, minus IB plus IC equals zero. Okay, very good. See, we have two equations versus IA, IB, and IC. And I would like to write this in a matrix format. So, so what do you have to do? Your variables or unknown things are IA, IB, and IC. So each equation, see two IA, two IS IA minus three IB, and then there's no IC, so it's zero here. Second equation, zero IA, seven IB, seven IC, and this is the other side, zero, negative 10. And last equation, 0.8 IA minus IB plus IC equal to zero. Okay, very good. So this is the matrix format, matrix formulation. You don't have to solve it because it just said uh, the problem says, just the rewrite the equation, the matrix format. Okay. And lastly, it says write the equation for the power associated with the dependent voltage source. Okay, so let's find the power for this dependent voltage source. Um, so I draw it here. So we had this voltage source 3, 3, I, Y. And its current was I, A uh, going down. IB, right? So the power would be the voltage, which is 3IY times, see the, the voltage is plus and minus, so I can state the current, which is going to say, is IB minus IA. IB minus IA. 
and IYR was also equal to IB, as we said here. So it becomes AIB times IB minus IA. What is the power uh, in terms of the mesh count? 